Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a chalk drawing to share with you today. I am using my Sargent Art Chalk Pastels. That's a new pack, but I also have my old pack that I'm going to be using today as well. I'm also using a chalkboard from Waldorf Supplies, Paper, Scissors, Stones. This chalkboard is two feet by three feet. And I also have a chalkboard compass. This is from Mercurius and it works pretty well, but sometimes it does wobble. So you do need to make sure that it doesn't move while you're doing your circle. I'm also doing my six divisions of a circle using my compass. And then I just estimated those divisions between the six divisions of a circle. It doesn't have to be exactly right. You can eyeball the entire thing and you can even see here that I wasn't especially accurate, but in the end, it's not going to matter too much. We're going to be placing a number in the center anyway. And so it doesn't matter that it's not mathematically accurate. I'm also going to put some blue chalk around the edges. This is a chalk drawing that I did before for our number 12 math study, and I liked it so much I decided to do a larger one. And so this one is based on that original drawing that I made. This one's going to have more details. It is going to take up the whole chalkboard versus the other one was a lot smaller. And I am placing the months by the seasons so that you can also see the four seasons as well. The December, January, February, I did end up adding a lighter blue on top of that because it was really hard to see in real life and everything else. The other names for the months were just fine. So I have a pine tree for December and then I'm going to do snowflakes for January. That original snowflake was way too big and I think that it probably would have looked a lot better just to do a lot of small snowflakes. So I end up doing a couple of small ones, but I don't erase that large one. But if you were doing this one, I would just recommend doing some smaller snowflakes instead. I'm adding some mountains for February and then I touched up that pine tree just a little bit and now we're moving on to spring. For March I'm going to add a tree that is mostly bare but it does have a few green buds on its branches and a little bit of snow on the ground and of course a crystal blue sky in the background. For April and May and part of June, I'm doing something that's going to go across all three of those months. I'm trying to do April showers, brings May flowers, but I didn't know what to do for June. So I'm going to be doing a really big rainbow that goes from June all the way to April. And that just signifies this new beginning, the rain, the new plants, and of course the beautiful rainbows that you see in the sky when it rains and the sun comes out. And so the sun will come out for July and then we'll move into the rest of the months. Uh, I don't really care for the way that I made the clouds and the sky for that. I was trying to make a blue sky with some white puffy clouds, but it didn't really look that way. So I've got my sun for July and we have waves for August to signify the beach before we move into our fall months. And for September, I'm going to have a large tree that's changing colors. We're going, going to have the reds and the browns, the yellows, and a little bit of green leaves and a gust of wind. For October, we're going to have a pumpkin that's pretty iconic and easy to do and also it adds that beautiful orange color that's so beautiful for the fall. For November, I'm just going to add a couple of leaves and I had a smaller space there because everything else kind of crowded in and I think that's just enough to signify the cooler months kind of heading in to that part of the year. So I'm adding a few details here and there, but overall, this is pretty much done. Really like the way that it turned out. If you want to see some of the other math tutorials that I have on my channel, you can tap on the screen. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more information on the video course that I have for math. And if you'd like to see how our homeschool is progressing on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.